everybody welcome to week 12 of the lockdown uh, just easing it a little bit this weekend so uh, you can go and visit a few more people uh, so that's pretty good uh, I've had the firing this week I've just unpacked it and here's the uh, opening of the kiln right I've uh, taken the wicket out and uh, just have a quick look in the uh, Goblets look okay through. Um, nice reduction on those little moon jars, they're all in this time. That's a nice satiny uh, result. That's the ice white. I thought it would be a bit glossier than that, but it's quite a nice little pot. like I've cured the splitting of the rim by not reducing it uh, for a prolonged period of time. That's just about sad to perfection there. <laughs> just about right that one, that's a nice one. Uh, so all in all it looks okay. Um, it's raining here so I've got my hood up. Um, I'm going to unpack it now and have a look at, have a look at some of these uh, in more detail. Okay, that's the, uh, the kiln unpacked. Um, go through one or two other things with you here. Some more of these little um, lidded uh, pots, faceted pots. They've come out okay. Some of them are a little bit paler. I think the glaze went on a bit thicker, but they've come out quite nice. Uh, all the little moon jars come out okay. Just had a bit of a downpour and they're full of water. But, uh, they come out nice. Uh, some of these um, uh, rouletted pots, there was a couple left over, they've come out. I've more or less got that sorted now, that's a really nice one. Um, through to the um, the ice white, I've got an, I've got, I'm trying a new glaze. And it's not very white, but it's come out beautiful hairs fur. And it's over the black iron uh, slip that I use. That's come out really well. Another one here. And I'll be able to pick it up. So some really nice effects. So that's something to work on that. Uh, I've cured the, um, the splitting glaze where it split from the rim last time. I've not fired it as high. Still got fairly high with all the drips on the bottom, uh, but that's that's sorted. I put some of this new white glaze over the um, over this. Th these are the same pots. This has got the nuker on the, on it. That's got uh, the the ice the, the snow white glaze. <laughs> so uh, that's really nice that one. So I shall do that again. come out okay. Uh, the bigger moon jars with the with the um, iron wedged into it, they're the bigger ones. Small ones came out last time, they're the big ones. So they've come out okay. So I've got a little bit more iron in them than others, but they were successful. Now on to the experimental parts. Um, these are the uh, the chalices that I made. I've ground the bottom, they've stuck a little bit, but that's understandable. But they've come out really nicely. Another one here. Really nice dribbles down. All the way down it. A bit of a close up there. Not very good lighting here, it's pretty dull and miserable. Quite like the way it's all run down there. Well, the smaller ones are okay. That's the smallest test one I did. That's a really nice one. You can see here how I turn the edge up here so that the uh, the uh, the ash would run in, and it's just formed a beautiful pool of uh, wood ash all the way around there. So that one's. Uh, Pretty nice that one. Uh, what else? There's 
another one. That one's pulled nicely as well. You can see where it's run down here. It's all run inside that lip. It, it went over just, just slightly and I've just had to grind that bit off there. But, uh, they're nice big pieces. So all in all a good, a good firing. Um, a couple of them got a bit hot, that's where it splits away. There. So they're all going in the bin. Uh, but apart from that, quite a good firing. Um, we'll be getting some photographs on eBay, uh, sorry, some photographs on um, Instagram. And one or two of these will be on the, uh, the Etsy site uh, this afternoon, if I can get them on there. And it's all in all pretty good. Okay, that is the quick look at the uh, opening of the kiln outside earlier. It was a bit miserable out there and it was throwing it down at one point, so I brought a couple of pieces in um, that I uh, thought you might like to look at. Uh, this is the snow white glaze over my black slip, so it's not very snow white at all. It's gone sort of a yellow ochre and brown. Uh, but that's, that's really nice. Uh, so, I like that piece. Uh, the chalices have come out. This is a smaller one. Where it, um, where I turn the lip up, I've got some more ash on it, and it's all gathered in the bottom of there. I'll show you that outside. I don't know whether uh, how good a shot it was, uh, but that's come out really nice. That's a usable one, that. And there's more of a decorative one here. I mean, you couldn't really. I suppose you could use it. It's a bit Viking, isn't it? Um, this is run really nicely. All it all trickled down. So. The smooth base works well because you get really nice long streaks and the textured one works well because it all runs inside the texture so there's a nice combination of uh, styles there. But uh, I'm quite pleased with this. This is uh, something to work on. I shall continue to make some of these. I think next I'm going to make some tall cylinders with lids with the eager wings on. That's my next thought process, is having a lidded pot, a tall lidded pot. So there we are, a success I think, this, uh, this firing. And as I mentioned earlier, one or two of them will be on uh, the Etsy site uh, soon. Okay, take care, see you next time.